The first step to creating a rain garden is selecting a site. This is important because you want to place the garden in a prominent area of your yard where it will be both effective and aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we're looking at the property to make sure that we can figure out where the downspouts are draining right now and we want to make sure we understand where the water is running so that we're placing the garden in the right location. The main purpose of the garden is to capture and filter stormwater runoff from impervious surfaces such as driveways, roofs, and walkways. In order to capture and filter stormwater runoff, find the pinch points on your property. A pinch point is a place where water converges. The number one thing is to watch your property and be thoughtful about where things are going on your property. Um, if it's raining, get outside in the rain and watch where the water flows. In order to avoid flooding, place the garden at least 10 feet away from the foundation of your home. Sun is an important factor to think about when planning your garden. If you have an opportunity to watch where the sun moves on your property throughout the day, make sure. Rain gardens do best in full sun, so I would probably suggest going for a site with that as your first time. Lastly, be careful not to locate your garden under a tree root system or in the way of utility lines. Once you've found the proper location for your garden, you can move on to step two, which is testing for your soil's permeability.